Gloria, I'm Gloria, and today I want to share with you a very delicious sweet tamal recipe. Winter is here, the cold is here, it's raining already here in California, and I want to show you how to make the delicious masa for sweet tamales. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. granulated sugar, eggs, milk, unsalted butter, vanilla extract made at home that you guys have that recipe already on my channel, and rice flour. This is everything we need to prepare this delicious sweet dough for tamales. So let's get started. Winter's here, the holidays are here, and let's treat our families with some delicious sweet tamales. So let's get started. Of course, I want to start with my corn husks. Remember that always add your corn husks first when you are going to prepare delicious tamales. Of course, that I am making today and showing you step by step how to prepare the rice flour for delicious sweet tamales. Well, I'm adding my baking powder here. I'm adding my all-purpose flour. I'm adding my sugar and i'm just gonna sift away the reason that i'm sifting everything is so that these tamales come out nice and fluffy and delicious this step is important and look at this all these little balls you're going to remove and everything is nice and sifted so this is completely done once this is done we're just going to put it aside i have a big bowl here where i'm going to add my unsalted butter I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Of course, you could do it by hand. Here I have my five eggs, which I'm going to pour in this little plate. And this is done. And now I am going to cream completely the butter. It's going to even change color to a light yellow. Well, here I'm going to really cream it for just about three minutes. You want to make sure that it's really nice and creamy before you add the rest of the ingredients. Once it's really creamy, well then I am going to just pour in all the dry ingredients. Look at this. And we're gonna mix it until the butter has incorporated into the dough, into the dry ingredients I mean. I'm adding my eggs one at a time. Once they're incorporated, I'm gonna to add my vanilla extract that's really gonna give it an amazing flavor and a little bit at a time the milk you don't want to pour the milk everything at one time just do it a little bit at a time mix it making sure that you clean the bowl from the sides so that everything is incorporated you want to make sure that all that butter on the bottom it's completely incorporated to the rest of the ingredients then we're going to mix it for about five to six minutes once this is done we need to make a test yes you're going to say what kind of test is gloria making you need to get one teaspoon of the dough and then let's go to the working table and let me show you what i'm going to do i have a glass here with water i'm going to add that teaspoon of the dough in there if it falls and it goes all the way to the bottom and it stays on the bottom that means you need to continue mixing your dough it needs to float right on the top once it falls in it needs to go right to the top that's how you know when the dough is ready to prepare the delicious sweet tamales look at this even if the dough is salt salted you still need to make this test well look at this this is ready and i am ready to prepare sweet tamales easy for you step or step but the most important is how to prepare sweet dough for delicious tamales i'm adding here some cranberries 
I add in here some strawberry extract and here some cocoa powder. Let's incorporate everything. I'm not going to add any more sugar at all. And let's prepare these three options. Winter is here. The holidays are here. Let's impress our families with these delicious and amazing homemade sweet tamales. They're very easy to prepare. Your kids are really going to enjoy these tamales. Of course, the toppings are going to be the, the ones that you desire. I just added these so that you see how the dough comes out. This is just the plain dough. Well, now let me show you all the mixtures I made so that you could make these sweet tamales at home and enjoy them with the natole. Enjoy them with a coffee, with an espresso, or just with milk. Okay, let me start preparing these tamales. The corn husks are very pliable. One side is rough, the other is smooth, and we're going to add the mixture to the smooth side. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. You just get one tablespoon or a little more it all depends how big you want your tamales or how small you want your tamales and then i am going to add a little more of the cranberries dried cranberries and i'm just gonna cover it just like this i love using parchment paper and it comes already pre-cut but i'm gonna show you how i use it i have the strawberry mixture here and look at this. They're so easy to prepare. Look at this. I'm going to get about 20 tamales out of this mixture. Look. Very easy to prepare. I know that you, on the chocolate um, mixture, you could add even pieces of chocolate in there. It's how you want to decorate or add it to your liking. Here I have the parchment paper, it's already pre-cut, and I like covering them, you know, cover them with the parchment paper so nothing comes out while they are cooking. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to do the same with every single one, and then I'm going to show you. When I am completely done, you don't need to use the parchment paper if you don't want to. But I like using it because they really stay warm after they're cooked for a long time. Well, this is done. I am done with my tamales and now I'm ready to add them here. I have a big pan with water and I'm adding this in the center and I'm just going to add the tamales on the top. We are going to cook them for 60 minutes. After this is done, I'm adding a towel right on the top and then let's go to the stove we're going to turn on the stove and we're going to put a piece of plastic right on the top so all that warm all the moisture doesn't come out it stays in there after the 60 minutes now it's time to reveal how these tamales came out let me get one of each and show you how they're going to come out it's so cold here in California that my family is really going to enjoy these delicious, warm, delicious, amazing, soft tamales. Look at this. When you start peeling the corn husk away, it really peels just like that. Look at this. They are still nice and hot. So if they stick a little bit, that's okay. It's because it's. I just got them out of them of the of the moisture of the pan but it's okay they come out amazing every time remember don't overcook them look how soft they are from the inside really soft really delicious and of course when you make them at home you have control of how much butter how much sugar you add to your delicious and amazing sweet tamales let me show you the one with the cranberries. This is my favorite one. I really love cranberries in this sweet dough. This is the chocolate, and I added some Nutella for my kids on the top. Well, now 
I am completely ready. My home smells amazing and it's nice and warm, nice and cozy. And I am ready to enjoy these delicious tamales. I'll see you in just a little bit. I'm ready for the presentation. They come out so fluffy, so tender. The taste is just amazing. And you need to make them for this winter, for these holidays. Well, this is the part I really love and enjoy, tasting my recipe. This is the one with the strawberry extract, and let's see how this came out. Mmm, mmm. The flavor of the strawberry so penetrated is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Of course, I need to taste every single one. Mmm, the dough is really fluffy. It's not overwhelming with the sugar, it's just perfection. And the one with a little bit of chocolate and I drizzled a little bit of Nutella on the top. Let's see how this came out. Mmm, just amazing. You know something, when you cook and you bake with love, everything comes out perfect. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say, I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being part of my family. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.